It was a special moment for the players and their coach, who's a proud member of the Lumbee tribe. ABC 13's Greg Bailey shows us how Kelvin Sampson is leading the team to new heights while honoring his roots. So many good things going on at U of H. Kelvin Sampson, proud of his roots and his heritage as a member of the Lumbee tribe of North Carolina. It's really an extended family, and they couldn't wait to welcome their favorite son home when Sampson and U of H traveled to play at East Carolina. They traveled across the state to welcome home a member of their family. Real proud, real proud. You're going to see it when that ball game starts. You're going to see it. These are the men and women of the Lumbee Tribe of North Carolina. In 1972-73, when I coached Kelvin, I knew he was going to be something special, but I never envisioned this type of special. Karen Sampson greased them all, overwhelmed by the support from members of her extended family. You're going to make me cry. It really does. It, um, you don't want to disappoint them. You try so hard to make them proud of you. Her husband is the shining light for the Lumbee tribe, home again as the coach of the number one team in America. And we're proud of him, you know, and I'm going to tell you something. I mean, he's an American Indian, and there's not a lot of us out there. Their ancestors survived persecution with a remarkable resolve and an emphasis on education. Not just lesson plans, but raising sons and daughters. He stands for his tribe, he speaks for his tribe, he's, he's proud of where he came from and he's proud to talk about the Lumbee tribe of North Carolina, you know, that's where he was raised. Decades ago, he was the Lumbee's son with aspirations and dreams. Samson's extended family never left his side and now he opens doors for children who are just like him. When I was in sixth grade when he coached for the Oklahoma Sooners, he uh, flew me to Oklahoma. I spent a week with him at the basketball camp, took care of me, flew me back home. It was amazing. It was a wonderful experience. After another U of H win, they gathered to see one of their own, the man who has accomplished so much. He's never forgotten who he is and his family, his, his tribe and his community, and he just gives back in every way that he possibly some children couldn't believe it, shaking hands with a coaching legend. The night ends with a declaration. Our roots in North Carolina are, are strong. Been a Lumbee uh, my whole life. I'm proud of it. Give me a hug, brother. Their son is home again, forever a member of the Lumbee family. Well, what a night at East Carolina. One more note on the remarkable people of the Lumbee tribe. When the state of North Carolina refused to offer them a college education, they built their own school. Karen Sampson is now a trustee as what has grown to become the University of North Carolina Pembroke.